amazing kids. I hope you all have had an amazing week. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Kelly and this is my cheeky bird Rocco who is holding my paintbrush. I don't think he wants to give it back. Give it back Rocco. He's a bit cheeky isn't he? You can have it. For this week's craft, we're going to do some rock painting. All right, let's get creative. For this activity, you will need three rocks. One, two, three. You'll need some brown or beige paint, some green paint, and three colors of your own choice for some little flowers. All right, for your first step, paint the whole top of your rock beige. You don't need heaps of paint, just enough to cover the whole top surface and then brush all in one direction to keep it nice and flat and then do the other two. On one edge of your rock, dip your paintbrush in some green paint and just paint a couple of straight lines these lines will be the stems of the flowers that we will paint. You can paint as many as you want. Just like that. Now go ahead and do your other rocks as well. I'm choosing to do my words with my paintbrush and some black paint. If you find writing with a paintbrush hard, you can choose to use a permanent black marker or ask an adult to help you. I'm doing the words faith, love and hope on the rocks. Rocco and I sure hope you've had an amazing time painting all these rocks today. Did you know that there are many people that like to bless other people by painting rocks and placing them in different areas of some parks for you to try and find and that way you can keep them and in return you get to bless them by painting rocks of your own and putting in the parks. Perhaps you could ask a parent or your guardian to help find out where some of these places are. I know Warrington Park is one of them. And then you could have lots of fun doing hide and seek and creating a hide and seek for other people too. Alrighty, be blessed. Have a great week. Bye.